Hello guys and welcome back. So today what I have for you is I have a tier 8 stronghold of Seal vs YU. Um, it's on Live Oaks and we're pretty much going to play the south of the map. Uh, we're going to play this area and pretty much the setups are fairly even. Um, they haven't got any lights but they've kind of got the mediums to replace it, uh, sort of the CDCs. Um, we also have a TD which is something that they don't have but we both have 5 heavies. And this means the the setups are sort of, you know, they're, they're practically the same in terms of realistically what we've got. We've got the TD, which can't rotate quite so well. Um, it's fast, but it doesn't rotate in the same way. But we've got the mediums so that we can sort of rotate faster than them. So to begin, we're, we're just going to play basically aggressively. We've got a tank pushing into this corner um, so that it'll be able to get a bit of a crossfire and also stop them from taking the corner. And also, uh, we've got these other lights that are pushing to the corner. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go sort of in with the heavies immediately. The reason why we can do this is because they've got a Chrysler, um, a KV-4, uh, a Defender, and, well, it's not really the Defender and the Chrysler, it's more the Oho and the KV-4 Krivsowski. I said that completely wrong. Um, but basically, it means that we can get into this dip before they're even in the fight. Which means that we can kill this, these tanks and also kill these tanks really, really quickly. Now you can see here that we're going to kill these ones really quickly, get below the bridge line, and then we're going to start to pressure these. Now having these tanks in the dip over in this area means that they can't push over into this corner. And it means that basically we're able to farm them before they're actually sort of, you know, even in the corner. Um, if they push, they die. If they stay there, they die. If they try and pull back, they die. I mean, they can't do anything. And that means that they lose sort of four tanks at the start in return for absolutely nothing except for some hit points. I lost some. Wardrod lost quite a lot, but it was mainly our lights who took the main the main bit of damage here. Uh, but now I can try and play a bit more aggressively on this corner here. I'm going to put a shot into the track so the defender to try and track him and hold him in place. Unfortunately, he does have a repair kit here, and I'm just trying to. I look behind me to see whether I'm covering, covering Warlord properly. Um, but to be honest, I'm not really. I can't really do that much. But I'm just going to try and track this, track this T34 again. That's my main aim. Whenever people peek like this on the ridge line, just just try and track them, and that's pretty much it. So our initial push just got us so so far up in hit, hit points that we can just push in at this point. Um, like. Yeah, I mean, there's there's no more I can really say. Uh, once we won that initial fight and took out some tanks by playing aggressively, because we had a slightly faster heavy setup compared to their heavies, it was pretty easy just to push in and win. So, this game is probably the fastest game you'll ever see um, on this channel. I didn't think I've done one faster so far. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this. Uh, if you did, please subscribe and like. I really, really do appreciate it. And I shall see you next time. Goodbye.